Facebook family. Hello, Facebook family. This is Eddie Perez from Viva Dance Studio, uh, coming to you live here from our studio during our Sizzling Salsa Thursdays, which uh, right now is going on. We have our pre-dance classes, and we have our regular classes starting at 8 o'clock, and then the party starts at 9 with DJ Jedi Kid as the host DJ. Uh, Rebecca will be co-DJing with him, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be DJ Jedi Kid's birthday, so come celebrate with us and have fun. But today, I came with, uh, to you with a little bit uh, more important subject, and this is what you've been missing from your cha-cha, and that is your rhythm. Um, I've been asked a lot about cha-cha uh, uh, classes, and um, I am thinking about uh, doing a class on rhythm, and I am doing a class on the actual steps and the differences between ballroom cha-cha-cha and what we call club cha-cha. Um, there's a big difference and there is, uh, hopefully, with this video you guys get a, a little bit of it and then stay tuned for me posting about uh, classes on cha-cha rhythm and um, cha-cha patterns that uh, tell you the differences between ballroom and also club style. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you like this video, definitely like it. Uh, send us comments, let us know that you are enjoying this. We're doing this on and off throughout the, uh, the weeks here. Uh, sometimes we'll, we'll come at you every week, sometimes you know once a month, but we're definitely gonna try to continue giving you some advice and some tips on dancing itself. So for me, uh, cha-cha has been one of the things that I've been um, really uh, vested in when, I, when it comes to talking about it because Every time I go to the club, I find people dancing cha-cha on the first beat of the music or breaking on the first beat of the music, which is not what cha-cha is. Um, I'm not going to get too deep into the rhythm or the musicality be behind cha-cha, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Cha-cha is dance and, and it breaks on the second beat of the music. Uh, if you dance it in a phrase, cha-cha has one, two, three, four, and, and then it repeats. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. The accent in cha-cha is on the one, and also the three, if you ask uh, many musicians. Um, but the break itself, when you change direction, it would be on that second beat of the music. And then if you're dancing it in phrase, which a lot of us do when we go out to the clubs or when we learn it, which goes uh, full phrase for us is eight count. So we go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, which means that we break on the second beat of the music and the sixth beat of, of the music. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If not, stay tuned for the class. I will give you a little more explanation on that. But understand that you don't break on the first beat of the music like salsa. It might sound okay because you are stepping on the one eventually in cha-cha, but it's not where you change direction uh, or where the, the beat breaks. So uh, if you did not understand that, I am actually going to put down some notes underneath the video, kind of explaining a little bit of that. So you can check out the video later on, come back to it, uh, send it, share it. And again, the information I'm giving you is what I know, what I have gotten over the years, uh, what people have told me, what I have researched. So it is not the last word and say on cha-cha, but at least it gives you a place to a placeholder to you to kind of go to and then get more information and add it to because everybody has their own uh, theories and uh, a little bit more information on cha-cha. You know, uh, go and get some more information. Make sure that you understand and, you, and, and that you understand what I'm saying. So like that, when you talk about it, when you dance it, when you're learning it, it starts making more and more sense. So uh, this is, again, just a little bit of information just to educate you on a little bit more of your cha-cha. If you do not already know this, if you do know this, definitely put some comments and share more information underneath. I'm gonna share a link on what cha-cha is, where it comes from, because it, it, it does come from Cuba originally, um, and, from, and it derives a little bit from a dance called Danzón de Mambo, or Danzón Mambo, which is a faster beat of cha-cha that was hard to dance on, so they actually slow down the, the rhythm and it made it into a cha-cha-cha based on the sound that the shuffling feet or the triple steps uh, do when you are dancing cha-cha-cha, okay? Now, 
Uh, there is a couple more uh, things that I want to say to that because um, I made a couple notes just to make sure that I cover them all. But I did say that the accent of cha cha is on the one and the three of the music. Uh, is where you can have a little bit more pause or accent the music a little bit more. So if I were to show you the basic in cha cha in place and I were to go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, four, and one. So I'm accenting the one and the three of the music. Uh, the other thing is. Um, a lot of people say that cha-cha is syncopated and cha-cha is not syncopated for, for all you musicians out there that dance. Uh, definitely, if you have more information on this, please post underneath here and educate people. But cha-cha is not syncopated. The 4N that I was talking about is actually a half beat. So it's one beat cut in half. And so we get two steps out of one beat. So when I go, uh, my one is a whole beat. My two is a whole beat, my three is a whole beat, my four, I cut it up into four and, so it's half, half. That gives me that cha-cha uh, rhythm. And then we go back to the beginning of the phrase on one. So make sure that if you are speaking to somebody about cha-cha and you go, oh, that's that syncopated step. Cha-cha does not have a syncopated step. Um, samba, swing, they do have syncopation because the beat value uh, changes from like a whole beat to three quarters to a quarter. So it has different uh, beat value for each of the, the rhythms that you do or each of the steps that you do. And cha-cha is even, so it's not syncopated. Um, so to look more on that, look up uh, the rhythm of swing or rhythm of samba and you'll understand a little bit more on the syncopations or what most musicians call a syncopated rhythm and a non-syncopated rhythm, which cha-cha uh, is, is a non-syncopated dance. It does not have syncopation. If you do put syncopation, it's because you're a great musician and you're good with the musicality of it and you can syncopate it if you want, but that's because you're choosing to syncopate it, but it's typically not syncopated. Um, so just make sure that you understand that, that we're just cutting one beat and making two steps out of one single beat. Um, other than that, um, I wanted to also make a, a statement because I do dance ballroom style cha-cha and I do dance club style cha-cha. And there's a huge difference between those two. In club style, we stay very much in place. When we're doing cha-cha, we're going one, two, three, cha-cha. Two, three, cha-cha. Two, three, cha-cha. It's very compact, very small, very nice and um, rhythmical. So we are dancing both with our partner, we are playing around with our partner, we're playing around with our rhythm, we're playing around with our bodies, we're playing with the music and we're trying to stay nice and close. Our movement is not big at all. Now, when it comes down to ballroom dancing or ballroom cha-cha-cha, the movement is very accented. We're still dancing the same rhythms, but we are moving a lot more on the floor. So there is movement. Uh, there is lines that we're creating. We're being judged, we're competing, we're trying to show uh, body isolation, body actions, and we actually in ballroom make it huge. So what happens is uh, when ballroom dancers learn cha-cha, um, and they don't learn the club style cha-cha, they end up going to the clubs and dancing super big, smacking people in the face, kicking people, taking over the floor, and us people that like club style cha-cha or even bugalu, we, uh, we tend to want to trip them and make them fall on their faces because they, uh, they're taking too much. So if you're doing ballroom style cha-cha, it's because you have more room and you can move about the floor with your partner in a, in, in, in a, in a big way. So you can move in straight lines, you can move uh, diagonals, you can really travel the entire length of the floor with your movement, whereas club style cha-cha stays very compact. Um, if you see, if you, if you focus on my feet, when I'm doing my basic step in cha-cha, step, step, cha-cha, cha, and step, step, if this is my club style cha-cha, 
I'm not moving a lot, I'm staying with my partner here. Where if somebody was doing ballroom, would take this and go ta ta ta, they lock their feet or they'll pass their feet and they move that much. So they take up uh, a lot more room than uh, club style dancers do. So make sure that you understand the difference between a ballroom cha 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 and a club style cha cha cha. Same rhythm, you, you can understand cha cha the same way, it, does, it doesn't change. But when you get into ballroom dancing cha cha, it is a lot bigger, it moves a lot more, and we do have a lot more spaces in ballrooms to be able to do that. So if you do not have the space, make sure you understand that the uh, club style cha-cha stays more compact and it's between you and your partner. You're playing with them, you're playing with the music, you're playing within your, your own space rather than making it super, super, super big. Um, so make sure I cover any other bases also. Um, be very clear with your movement. Uh, cha-cha is very playful, that means, and very rhythmical. So uh, there is a lot of music out there that has the cha-cha rhythm. So more modern style music, if you like it, if it has a cha-cha rhythm, you will be able to dance it at a club. Um, and if you have learned ballroom cha-cha, um, you're gonna find yourself that in a big crowded club, you're not gonna be able to do it. So. Make sure that you understand how to dance small and um, how to dance to the rhythm of the music rather than just going crazy. Um, again, I'm going to put a link in here uh, telling you about the history of Cha Cha Cha. Um, again, one of my biggest concerns is that a lot of people break Cha Cha on one and that is not the case. You should not dance it like you're dancing salsa. So if you're a salsa dancer trying to do Cha Cha, take a couple classes on Understanding the rhythm of cha-cha. Um, if you go out to the clubs, ask people, you know, uh, does anybody here uh, teach cha-cha? Learn it and then try it, but make sure that you do not dance cha-cha on one. So, this is actually what you'll be missing in your cha-cha, and it's the rhythm. So make sure you guys uh, take a class on cha-cha. Uh, stay tuned for classes on the cha-cha rhythm and cha-cha partnering club style versus ballroom style. From Viva Dance Studio, we're going to be here trying to give you more tips, uh, more advice about dancing, so stay tuned. Um, we're not going to come back every week, we're going to try to, but if we don't, stay tuned. We are definitely going to give you uh, more tips that you guys can learn a little bit more, learn, uh, learn to educate your own selves, and also uh, where to find information about dancing. So, uh, this is Eddie Perez from Viva Dance Studio, don't forget, tonight, DJ Jedi Kid's birthday, he's DJing, we're having fun, we're uh, having our classes right now, we have the pre-dance class at A15, which I think is past that right now, they're halfway there, um, but come check it out, uh, come and dance with us, have fun, enjoy, and um, hopefully see you next time here from Viva Dance Studio, thank you.